They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, so we're here with Coach McMullen doing her best Coach Burke's impression. What was the inspiration for the costume here on uh, Halloween practice? Well, the inspiration was simple. You know, you want to be the best. To be the best, you got to dress the best, and I think I crushed it. Now, this is an annual tradition uh, for you guys. This is your third year, so obviously the third Halloween practice. Is this something that you've kind of carried through since your, your playing days, or is this something that now is the head person in charge of a program that you get to kind of instill and force your will on your on your players oh no we definitely did this when I was in college and I know the school that I used to play at they're still doing it I saw Instagram pictures the other day they had a Halloween match so they um, dressed up for warm-ups but it's fun I think the athletes you know they're still human they still want to have fun yes we go through training and it's grueling but have fun while you do it and I think that this really allows us to do that with your experience with these uh, these Halloween practices and matches, what, including this year's squad, what's been the best costume you've seen over your years? Oh, that is a good one. We, I mean, the middles came in aggressive today with the awkward denim family photo, which was pretty funny. Um, I think my first year here, though, Sophie Murdoch had this completely decked out red onesie on that even covered her face. and. She wore this awesome pumpkin mask over top, which holds a special place in all of our hearts. And I think what made her so funny was she stood at the far end of the gym and up against the red wall, and legit people were walking by, and she was scaring them. So I think that might have been my favorite. Well, let's talk about the, the matches at hand. It was a rough week through, uh, through Brooklyn, just both injury and uh, playing-wise. How are you guys recovering as we get ready for Robert Morris? Um, the first few days this week, kind of a little bit light, more focused on basics technique, and we're going to rev it back up today with a little bit of Halloween fun as well as a lot of competition today. And what we're looking to do these last three matches, maybe a little bit more depending on how tiebreakers could or could not shake out, um, we're just looking to play our best and compete and I think today will help us get there. Kind of keep it lighthearted but serious at the same time. I get it because you guys are preparing for a Robert Morris squad. Obviously, a uh, arch rival within the in the conference. They're coming off a, of a big upset victory. They handed LIU Brooklyn their first loss of the season. You guys dusted them in four. What's kind of changed with Robert Morris since we've last seen them? I think Robert Morris is just starting to play really like dig down, digging deep, aggressive. Hey, don't let the ball hit the ground. We're going to outwork you volleyball. And watching the LIU film on them, they hustled. They worked hard. They went after it, and they grinded out sets two, three, and four. And, you know, they won each of those games by two points, but they just worked hard. So then what is going to be the key to try to snap out of the, a little bit of a funk that you guys have been in recently? Is a Robert Morris rivalry match pretty much what the doctor ordered to try to snap, snap the team out of the funk? Um, I think so. We really get excited to play them. It's fun. The other PA school, it's a short trip, um, so I think that will definitely help. But I think what's really going to help snap that streak is just focus on our side, focus on how we play, and just focus on playing your best regardless of what the outcome might be. All right. We'll hopefully talk next week, getting prepared for senior week about a big victory over the Colonials. All right. Thank you.